Are feet an important body part? Yeah, I would say. What makes feet important? Well, you need them to walk. Be hard uh, getting around without them. I don't know what this whole obsession is with with certain people, but I respect it. What are you going to do? If you don't mind me asking, what's your shoe size? Ten, ten and a half. You know what they say about that? Average shoe? Oh, well... (laughs) You said, when I really leave, then you'll see what you all got. Good luck filling my shoes. I'm a size that y'all not. That was more a metaphor of the lyrical shoes that I will leave behind when I cross over to the next realm. My shoe size is actually quite common. I heard that bar. I thought you had shack size feet, but we cleared that No, up. no. Yeah. The hip-hop shoes that I wear are, are large, I would say. Have you ever left a situation where you felt inclined to seek vengeance? Yeah. Ah. I got out of the sauna the other day. Some guy comes in there with his fucking headphones in, and he's just having the dumbest conversation. This fucking asshole's in there, like, yeah, no, I'm down, you know, down LA Fitness, yeah, no, saunas here better than everywhere else. I wanted to take this motherfucker by the back of the head and shove his face on that hot grill that provides the heat. It really got under my, he just wouldn't shut the fuck up. It's rude, and the lack of awareness, you know, be aware of your surroundings, man. People ain't trying to hear you talk about the sauna that we're in. Is that where... Vindicative came from? I guess. That was just vindictive. Yeah, that was an old rap name. I feel like that name is a name only a white rapper would choose. Yeah, I would agree. I would agree. I'm actually pretty easygoing. This guy in the sauna just got under my skin and I snapped for some reason. It's been a long week. I don't know. Was his balls out? No, no. Oh, okay. Is it true that your thoughts don't wear condoms? Oh, yeah, they're raw. <sighs> My thoughts don't wear them, and I, you know. Are your palms sweaty? No. How's your mom's spaghetti? She's more of a penne woman. Ah, I thought that was wine. I give this guy one glass of wine. He thinks he's a fucking connoisseur over here. Penne is is oh in, like a sauce. No, it's a macaroni. I'm sorry. You thought penne alla vodka was a wine? Oh, no, I thought that was vodka. Everything's <laughs> beverages with this guy. The most selfish person I know once said, I'm not sacrificing shit. So do you drink a lot of water? Yeah. But wait, what? How close are you and Jameson? Distant when I'm home, first cousins when I'm on the road. Mac and cheese tastes better with? Kind of a purist. I'm not for this, like, mac and cheese with shit. I will say I had some short rib mac and cheese not too long ago that was fantastic. Because short rib complements it. You know, it's very, like, blends into it. You know, it's it's the (laughs) softest of meats. Pause. Are you part of the pause patrol? No. When you say something like the softest of meats, you got to kind of, you know. I like meats. You don't like meats? I'm very comfortable in my sexuality, but that was one of those ones where even I had to be like, I hear this coming out of my mouth and... (laughs) (laughs) I never want to hear you say. Man, don't take me back to the fucking late 90s, man. Don't do that to me, dude. Don't, because, actually, no, fuck that song. There's better Backstreet Boys songs. Why wouldn't you take the shot? Well, because I'm, I'm trying to, I'm just trying to be better in life. It has nothing to do with you being bad at basketball? Oh, that kind of <laughs> shot, yeah. I'm awful at basketball. My athletic accomplishments are pretty limited throughout life. I was the wrestling team captain my senior year. Yeah, no, basketball, football, soccer, baseball, trash. I don't even watch them. It's like a show that never ends. There's like a new season every year, and it's like even Sopranos ended, even The Wire ended. They're great fucking shows, but you got to know when to call it. Do you have rhythm? I do, but my rhythm comes into play more so linguistically. I don't know what that means, sir. With your words. Copy. Yeah. I'm the guy who stands there and pretends he's too cool to dance, but it's more that I just don't know how to dance, you know what I mean? So I'm trying to pretend I'm too cool. If you had to describe your sound as a Mortal Kombat finisher, how would you do that? Ice cold, Sub-Zero. Shattered into pieces. Are the haters still mad at Christian because you never disappeared like a bad magician? (laughs) Well, yeah, I didn't go nowhere. Still here. I actually did try my hand at magic tricks when I was younger. How'd it go? I don't really remember. This was a long time ago. What would be two reasons you'd be invited to Mario's party? Well, I'm Italian, for starters. I have all the characters tattooed here, and, you know, I eat a decent amount of mushrooms. So if we were in that world, right, me and you, who's Mario and who's Luigi? Well, body type, I would say I've always been more of a Luigi. Ah, so you think you're a player two kind of guy. I'm just lanky, you know. (laughs) Oh, God, I'm trying my sports skills. All right. I'm... See? I was lying before about sports. I'm mad nice. Where's Larry? Larry the Lobster? No, Larry's a guy who owes me money. Oh, I don't know. I haven't seen him. Larry, I'm going to find you. And you're going to pay me one way or another. What does pump it up 
mean to you? Damn. The last job that I held before I made enough money off of music to not have a job. My old boss still texts me. I was thinking about my jobs the other day. I have a pretty unimpressive uh, resume. I'm going to be honest with you. If this shit hadn't worked out, I don't know. <laughs> dude. I don't know. Leslie's Pool Supply. That was even worse. You got to test people's pool water, carry toxic ass chemicals. I just sold weed in the parking lot and fucking got high all day. That fucking <laughs> job was horrible. So uh, how do you pump it up these days? I try to go to the gym. Need to try harder. A lot of my New Year's resolutions have already fallen by the wayside, if we're being honest. I, I'm going to keep trying to pump it up. I was doing legs today, dude. You know, I got these skinny fucking chopsticks. I'm trying to, you know, turn them into drumsticks at some point. What's the best dog food to buy? I got Moose uh, strictly on raw. Right now, he's on blueberry duck. Duck meat with a little bit of blueberry thrown in. I just had him on beef and sardine last week, which is, that one makes him smell a little weird. For all the viewers at home, dogs share the exact same genetic code with wolves and wolves are supposed to eat nothing but raw animals organs skin bone that means our dogs are supposed to be eating the same shit too i don't think that i can say i live the wild life but you spent money on wildlife yeah can we clap it up can we clap it up Ah, oh, thank you, thank you, yes, thank yes. you. Always had a soft spot for nature. I love animals. I love the beauty of natural ecosystems and how everything works together. There's a really good place I donate to, Big Life in Africa. I just donated another 50 last year, too. Thank you. And I didn't even post about it. You know, this is the first time I'm saying it. You want to bring awareness to something, but then you kind of don't want to be that person who does something good and then fucking posts about it. When you do like a genuinely good thing, truly from the bottom of your heart, it, you shouldn't feel compelled to post it. But at the same time, you know how it is. Yeah. Shout out to Big Life Africa. What's something I wouldn't find in Webby's laboratory? We got everything in there, man. I mean, no shortage of drugs. <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> Why Wednesdays? Because Webby Wednesday sounds good. That started a long time ago on Ustream, I think it was. It was before Instagram even existed. I would go on and freestyle and interact with the people, and we coined it Webby Wednesday. This year, we'll be wrapping it up with Last Wednesday, and then after that, seven-year album rollout, I have no idea what the fuck I'm going to do. <laughs> Thursday. Maybe I take a fucking vacation, go down to Peru, take some ayahuasca, find myself, come back with a beard and some worldview wisdom. I don't know. Or I just stay here in my fucking house and vacuum a bunch of fucking floors like I usually do anyway. And yeah, maybe I take a little fucking break, dude. I don't know. As you should, man. Everybody needs a break every once in a while. Yeah. Yeah. Besides yeah. Larry. No, Larry, on second thought, you got yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. got to come out the woodwork, man. Rematch Randy said, the best way to guarantee a loss is to quit. If I quit listening to him, what do I lose? Damn, that's a, like a loaded ass. What is it? That sounds like a fucking Chinese riddle. Don't quit, but you still might lose anyways, but that's life. But you're definitely going to lose if you don't, if you quit. But if you don't quit, there's a very good chance you're going to lose because life's a bitch. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, what the fuck? You better be good at what you're doing or else you're going to lose anyway. Like, not everybody's supposed to be everything. Specifically a rapper. Let's be honest here. So many people are something slash rapper. I'm a rapper slash rapper. I only say that to say not everybody also needs to be a rapper. What you're saying is I'm an interviewer, but I can't say slash rapper? No, you totally could. Unless you were, were trash. Like, then maybe just focus on the strength. I don't know, you know? I'm going to focus on interview. Yeah, no, you know what you're yeah. doing. You know what you're doing. You yeah. keep it interesting. I think it's cool to be a master of something let's say you were a ninja turtle what would be the worst thing about being a ninja turtle uh what do they have for genitalia i don't think they have dicks and i would find that in the long run to be problematic so you wouldn't care that your dad's a rat master splinter was a great father okay <laughs> wise beyond his years and no one knows how old he really was because rats don't live that long to be honest <laughs> they don't they don't yeah he could have been fucking two and a half. But the turtles were younger because they were babies. You know, he was a full-grown rat when they all mutated. <laughs> That's just facts. I just feel like somewhere in there was a message for Larry. <laughs> Have someone ever told you that they hated your tattoos? I don't think so. My tattoos are pretty likable, dude. Ninja Turtles, Disney Princesses, nin uh, I already said Ninja <laughs> <laughs> Super Mario. I got Winnie the Pooh characters. I got fucking Simba. I got fucking Connecticut. Biggest fuck across my chest to everybody who's like, yo, you ain't repping Connecticut. I got, I got, I got some ink. Yeah, dude. I see you, were, you know, peeking out that sleeve over there, dude. <laughs> Don't do me like that. Don't do me like that. Right now, we're about to get into some track list questions. What that means is I took some titles from your latest album, which would be Wednesday Before Last, and right. I made some questions out of them. Right? Okay. If you turned into a refrigerator, what would a bad day look like? 
when the power goes out and all the food inside of me starts rotting. If there was only one barber in town, would that be the best reason to get faded with a stranger? I don't get fades. In fact, I've only had one guy cut my hair my whole life. Shout out to Philip. Actually, turns out me and Philip are related from the old country. How fast is too fast? I'm not one for being in a hurry. You see people zipping around on the highways. What's the fucking rush? Where are you going? Unless you're Larry. Sounds like he's really ruffled some feathers here. You ever imagine what it would be like if you were the size of an elephant? No. The best sauce in the world is? This guy up in New Hampshire, he's got a bacon, egg, and cheese uh, little cart thing with the, what's the, food cart. Food. Uh, kiosk. Oh, no. Uh. Fruit truck. We were both wrong. Kiosk. Uh, that's like a. Oh, when well, you said cart. <laughs> food truck. Yeah. And okay. he makes the best. It's like a chipotle aioli. It's the best sauce and it goes great on anything. Yeah, shout out to him. Press for time in Derry, New Hampshire. Best oh. bacon, egg, and cheese I've ever had by a long shot. Can you say Worcester sauce? Worcester sauce? Worcester. Worcester sauce? I don't know. What? Fuck that sauce. I don't <laughs> even really like that sauce. Is that like Russian dressing? No, I don't know. Nothing that I'm eating. You know what I hate? Cocktail sauce. It's usually the cock in that that I don't like. I hate like. cocktail sauce. I hate shrimp cocktail. Cocktail sauce is disgusting. Do I actually know my rights if I'm running in circles? Did a double there. Double entendre. <laughs> no, it's important to know your rights. Government is only becoming more and more tyrannical. We've been losing a lot of ground, but it's important to know them while we got them. Until we all get rounded up in vans, you know. <laughs> you know what I mean. Me and Larry are going to be the two that get fucking rounded up. <laughs> Sadly. Honestly, I'd be disappointed if I didn't. You know, I'd be like, what the fuck else did I have to do? A lion ass, two-timing, not good for nothing, dusty with a little bit of crusty bullshitter. You ever felt this way? A lion. The animal? I said a lot there. Yeah. <laughs> Did that even have a song title in it? Feel this way. Oh, oh. Yeah, I don't know. You lost me on that one. That was a lot of adjectives. Where can people find you on social medias? Social medias. Where can people find me? I'm fucking... I, I hate that shit. But Chris Webby on everything. This new generation, we're losing them with this. With this, you know, you got to post everything. You got to go live. Show everybody where you're at. You know, especially when it comes to artists. You got to realize, like, the guys that we grew up on were mad mysterious. And now we know what everybody's having all three meals of the day. You learn too much about them. You start to be like, eh, like, I like his music. But, you know, we need to learn how to become present again. You could follow me on socials or maybe don't. Put your fucking phone down right now. Like, the interview's over anyways. Just put your fucking phone down and go live life. Go take a walk outside. Wait. There's more. <laughs> All right, yeah, after this next question. <laughs> for the people in tune with you and for the people who may want to follow you now, do you have any words for them? Thank you for the support. I'm an independent artist. You guys have made me rich. Thank you so much. I appreciate it, truly. Like I say on stage, it's one of the only truly symbiotic fan-to-artist relationships. You know, it's crazy to think that I'd be here because I've been in the game a long time and, and was broke. Like, I, I was quote-unquote successful touring and living at my parents' house for a very long time. So it's good to be here. It's good to be at this point. Another year of this Wednesday shit, and then and maybe you don't hear from me for a while. Who knows? I don't know yet. Webby. I appreciate you. Usually I say thanks for kicking back with K, but I'm kicking back with you. Hey, man, you know. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Subscribe. It's Chris Webby, and you're kicking back with K. And Chris Webby, right now, on Kicking Back with K. Geo!